at least it plays a big part. I know my attitude can be a little fucked up sometimes. Damn. But I'm a female. Everybody, like. At the end of the day, ball of emotion type shit. Like, come on now. Like, I can only keep the people so long before I just blow the fuck up. Like, deal with it. You shouldn't have pissed me off. But there's a lot of people that dance and date, like, have whole relationships and that shit. So it's kind of. And I feel like they probably have a certain understanding. And like I said, they don't put everybody in their relationship. So what might look good to me and you, they might go home and fight like cats and dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you dancing on all these niggas all night? And you want to come home to me? I called you the club calls at 4. You ain't get home until 530. Literally, you know, we was just counting money y'all the whole time. Like, damn. But, you know. You never really know what goes on with these like relationship girl people. Like that should be fake as fuck. Man, Backstreets with Cole. Man, what's next for the whole brand? Mm-hmm. I really like. I said I wanna. I wanna host more parties. Like I want y'all to, like see me, see me, and I'ma make sure y'all motherfucking see me. So y'all see me here, and then one day y'all gonna be like, ah, shit. She said, watch what I tell you. I'm gonna be all in California, all in Vegas. No. All really? in Miami. Somebody was just trying to get me to Miami too. But I just you been out there? Yeah. You fuck with Florida? Yeah, I fucks with Florida. Like, Florida fucks with me, but you kind of gotta look a little Hispanic to be out there. Uh-huh. So I'll be having to have my hair like jet black and curly. Like, yep. Yeah, I don't know Spanish. Hey, <laughs> play the game though. We gotta be best friends. Let's just make this money and keep it moving. Somebody hit me like, look. I got this party coming up. I feel like it'll be a good addition. Send me the details, bitch. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's no, go. For real. For real. And you said you said Tyler Perry Studios? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did all the Queens men the last season. What that was like? That was an experience. Okay. I'm not even going to lie because me being in Atlanta on and off, you know, since forever, seeing this exit and then all of a sudden that one exit now says Tyler Perry Studios. They got a bank there. Like, I seen Oprah Winfrey sound stage. I seen so many, like, names that you, Will Smith, yeah. like, and it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I seen where they film all these different shows, like. You got the Beatle? Who? Tyler Perry. Yeah. Tyler Perry. What was that experience like? Because we hear cool. so. Many bad and good about the legend. I only got great things to say about him, man. But what was it like right with him? He's literally like a person. He don't dress up. He literally will have sweatpants and a zip-up hoodie on. Like, if you don't know what he looks like, like, you won't catch him. Like, he blends in. Like, he's respectful to everybody. Like, he don't, like... (laughs) <laughs> he's not how for him to be who he is like you would kind of think that he would be more like he would have a bigger ego he's very humble like very humble like he'll literally stop and be like listen I know everybody's excited right now everybody's getting paid look <laughs> let's just do this thing so we can move on to the next it's getting late and I'm ready to go home like yeah, yeah I just go to work is oh. he a perfectionist very much so. Okay. Like, how very, prepared did you have to get? You got to let me know the episodes and shit so I can go watch it. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I, okay. I'm always the last person to watch everything that I do. Like, <laughs> what is that about? I don't, I don't know. I'm just always the last person. Like, when Pollyish came out, mm-hmm. everybody was hitting my phone, like, oh my God, Shayla, I see you. Like, you, you did so good. And I'm like, really? <laughs> what scenes made it? What scenes okay, didn't? Okay. Like, I have. No idea. How you think you did? I hope I did good. Like, I ain't had nobody hit me up like, you look a damn fool. Like, (laughs) I haven't had that happen quite yet, but you're always your own worst critic. critic. Big facts. Like, always. Like, you are always going to be your worst critic. While I think I did a shitty job, the world would think, like, girl, you popped your shit. Like, Hmm. what? Or, like, even pictures, I feel like, bitch, you look fat as hell in this picture. But that be the fucking picture that they pick. And I'm like, what? And then I see it two or three years from now. And I'm like, oh, no, actually, that bitch was fine. Like, I don't feel that. What's your thoughts on Carisha and Diddy? I fucks with it. Carisha, pop your shit. <laughs> I feel that. Pop your shit. Pop your shit. Play the game how it go. Because, like, that's a win-win situation. 
And like, what? Who would be against that shit? I don't give a fuck how many bitches you got, how many babies you have. Don't care. He's putting her in a better position. He's teaching her. Like, the, I was talking about that earlier. Teach me something. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's teaching her different ways to make money. He's teaching her how to kind of be more feminine. You know, like, nah, if you do it this way, watch the reaction that you get. Because he's been in the game for such a long time. Like, he knows so much. Like, I fucks with it. I need a ditty. And I uh -oh. can be Carisha. <laughs> man, Backstreet's with Cole, man. We got some last minute shout outs, too. Um, of course, my babies, Trinity and Shania. I love y'all so much. Man, dope. Shout out motherhood with his life. Yeah, like, they're, they're my reason for everything. For everything. I love them. Like, that's like my little soft spot right there. Is these fucking, I'm like, no, nah, for real, come here. Give me a hug. Um, okay, dope, man. Shout out my best friend, Jerrica. I love you. I miss you so much. RIP to you, to King, to Kirsten, to Kinsley. I miss y'all so much. I wish y'all was still here. Yeah, I wish y'all was there. R.I.P. R.I.P. Like, for real. For real. I'm going to carry you with me everywhere I go. Will they be proud of you? Out. Yeah. Like, that was something that, like, she was my number one supporter. So whenever I first started to get booked, she, I would be nervous. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Bitch, like, I don't know. What if they don't like it? She'd be like, bitch, do that shit. Like, <laughs> And if you don't mind, what like what happened? She was young, or she we were the same age, and her baby daddy killed her, Ooh. and then three kids back home. Yeah, in Columbus, Georgia. God damn. So mm. that Ooh. shit that that fucked me up for a long time. So now I'm. How old was she? She at the time when it happened. It happened in 2019. It was recent. Yeah, so it hasn't been four years yet. It'll be four years. July the 19th. Did he get caught? Yeah, he did. Prison. He ended up killing himself in jail a couple months later. Oh. Stupid ass hoe. Unfortunate <laughs> situation, bitch. man. Ooh, like. Jealous? Was she into the dancing? Yeah, we danced. And she was trying to leave. The dude? Yeah, she was trying mm -hmm. to go back home. The most dangerous time for a woman in a relationship is when she's trying to leave. And she was trying to leave, and he attacked her and killed the kids, too. So that's something that I'm working on as well. I'm going to open up yeah. like a charity house for abused women and stuff like that. I've been through it. My mom has been through it. My best friend was murdered on that type shit. And I kind of hold a, like a guilty spot in my heart because she asked me to come the weekend before, and I couldn't make it. I was like, girl, I'm going to come. You know, I'm Did you ever try to talk up out of leaving him alone? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is something I'm like, girl, just leave that nigga alone. He ain't talking about shit, whatever, whatever. But she just always ended up going back. But the weekend before it happened, she was on me. She was like, I want to see you. Come see me. You know, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to come see you. But just shit just kept happening. I couldn't make it. I was like, I'm going to come next weekend. And by Wednesday, she was gone. Like, so I kind of hauled a real, like, guilt. Uh, like, a, mm. like a heavy spot in my heart behind it. So, yeah, that Man. is something like a future goal of mine. I am going to so open it just keep her name alive. Rest For sure. And the children, rest in peace to them. Yeah, yes. they're, they were babies. Like, they were not, it doesn't matter. And people, don't real, people don't talk about that side of the, talk about that enough. Let me say that. I ain't that side of the industry. Just women who go through abuse and yeah. in the limelight and trying to do shit and got children and got real life going on and then got a jealous nigga. Mm -hmm. well, well, it was the baby daddy, though. Yeah. So it was, you know, so. Yeah, man, you know, just couldn't shake the situation, man. Rest in peace, man. Shout her name out again. Jerrica, a.k.a. Fun Size. Rest in peace, my baby. I love you so much. Like, my sister, my soulmate. Like, oh, I be getting choked up talking about her sometimes. Man, but man. Rest in peace, too, like, man. Yeah, I love you so much. I promise you I will not let you down. Everything that I do, I'm going to make sure that you're mentioned in everything. Thanks, One way sir. or the other, you're going to be seen. You're going to be heard about. Doesn't matter. One of these days, I'm going to save girls just like you. Man. If it's just one person, I promise you my mission is complete. But I promise you. <laughs> Hold me to it. Y'all go tap that. <laughs> y'all y'all go hit the link in her bio, go hit her link tree, go follow her, go hit the YouTube or wherever she is, go watch her movies. How they can go tap in with your man, let them know real quick. Um, Rich Bitch, or Rich Big Shay, because you know you got to keep it edited on Instagram, R-I-C-H-B-I-H-S-H-A-Y. 
on Instagram. Same on um, TikTok. Not on Facebook no more because I was just getting a little. Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, that's it right there. You got into the OnlyFans? No, I'm not on OnlyFans. Uh oh. Guys, so don't be asking in the comments. <laughs> but y'all can book me though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what make you not be on it? Um, Being that, you know, of course, that's what a lot of It is where yeah. a lot of the money is they at. Say that's, but, yeah, that's where the money is. But at the same time, like, I'm trying to be an actress. Like, I don't want that to be a reason why I don't get a role. Like, mm -hmm. Could it be free? It oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, bigger roles, they do that research on them. Like, if you got a bad name out here, they will not give you that part. Damn. You should be ashamed on the back streets to come, man. You gave me a great, great ass interview. You gotta clap it up, man. And I appreciate the shot, even though I don't drink, man. But you gave us a lot of, a lot of knowledge. A lot of people don't even give a lot of gems you gave. So if y'all do watch this, in, no, when y'all watch this interview, man, make sure y'all go tap in with the homie.